So, we had planned on cutting the lawn, but guess what? We're not gonna do that. So, today I'm gonna talk to you real quickly about a very, very cool product. This is a cellular and solar security camera that you can basically pop up anywhere you want. Stick it in the woods, stick it on the farm, stick it on the far part of your property. I really like this thing, but I gotta tell you a story first, so hold on one sec. Ooh, man, this place is a mess. So anyways, I have my lawn care calendar. This is warm season, this is Bermuda. I have one for zoysia, and we have one for cool season lawn. So if you go to freelawncareguide.com, you can get the calendars and it'll walk you through the entire year, tell you exactly what to do, show you all the products, everything. So make sure you go there, find out. Anyways, uh, yesterday we've been out at this farm property doing a bunch of stuff out there, a bunch of work but I had to put up some kind of security camera and it's remote. So I'll walk you through this. I'll show you, take you out there yesterday and then I'll just drive you around. I'll actually take you to the back part of the property today on the UTV and show you the corn feeders and back side of the property. But here's the funny story. The funny story is, is my son was out there early meeting. I had an appointment with my attorney with corporate tax time. So I, told, I sent him out there to meet the gravel guy. So I knew he'd be fishing. So my, I got an alert from this camera that said there was motion. I pulled it up and my son was out there. So a couple of minutes later, I said, I know he's going to go fishing while he's waiting. So I pulled up the camera and sure enough, I see him walking down the dock. So I zoom in so you can pinch and you can zoom in on these videos. So I zoom in and I'm sitting there watching him and watching him. His first cast, I see him, boom, he catches a fish and he's fighting and he's fighting. And man, I see this huge splash. And I've told him, I said, dude, I know we've been catching, you know, small to like two pound bass. I said, I know, dude, that there's probably a six to ten pounder or a couple of them in this lake. And sure enough, <laughs> this is the fish he caught. It was almost eight pounds and he was freaking out. It's the biggest bass he's ever caught in his life. It was so cool. But the fact that I'm sitting there watching him and then I call him on his phone after he releases it. I'm like, dude, that was so cool. I actually saw you catch that fish. This camera is really cool because it has a pan tilt up and down, left and right, all solar, all cellular. Like I said, you can put it anywhere. Uh, make sure you get the long guys. Like I said, this is kind of a weird video. I just was out there doing some stuff, but I'll show it to you. So hold on. Morning. So we're out here at the farm property at this sorry 1980s <laughs> abandoned house. This house is, you know, my, our, our driveway here is a quarter mile long. We're remote. It's a 40 acre property. And you can see the pond back there. And then there's another 20 acres behind there. There's 10 acres of pasture in front. There's cow fields over here. So we needed a security camera out here, but I have no Wi Fi. Basically, I have electric and that's it. So today I'm going to talk to you real quick about I've got a bunch of cameras. I've got 10 blink cameras down at the beach house. I've got eight blink cameras at my regular house, plus I have one of the solar Wi-Fi cameras. This camera, this camera right here, I installed uh, when we bought the place, and I absolutely love it. Love it. Now, it's important to understand, uh, I don't do paid promotions. I never take free stuff. I buy everything that I talk about, so you get a true reference on it. This is not cheap. This runs about 280 bucks, but it's one of the few cameras. It runs on cellular, it charges on solar, and it'll actually pan left and right and up and down. I'll show you that here in a second, but I absolutely love this. Now, people get confused. It comes with a, it comes with a memory card, a micro SD card, but it does not come with a SIM card. It runs on T-Mobile network. So what I had to do was I had to call uh, T-Mobile and I ordered just um, just a data only card it's you can get them for 10 bucks a month so that's all you, you do you get a T-Mobile card I plugged it into it bam worked right away I tried it at home came out here we're pretty remote here um, the signal is actually pretty good here I got two or three bars uh, motion sensor and you can see all your videos it's excellent I love this thing so uh, let me talk about it a little more I'm actually out here, I'm chlorinating my well. There's bacteria in the well, even E. coli. 
This place has been, that well's been sitting there probably for five years abandoned. So I uh, had to do some research and um, I figured out it's basically you're just adding bleach to your well. So I'm bleaching, I'm chlorinating the living heck out of it. So let me pull this up for you. So I just pull this up and once you pull it up, um, you have the option of connecting automatically. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna touch this and there I am right there. So now I'm live. If I wanna turn it sideways and get a full view, I can turn it sideways, I can get a full view. But here's one of the really nice things about this is when you touch this, um, where's the little pan? So I can go like this, I can have my little thing. And all you do is you just drag, drag that little bar and it's a little bit of a delay and that camera will move over. So I'm gonna to touch it and that camera will pan over, see it? And so there I am sitting right there. I really like this. So I can go up, I can go up and down and I can go left and right. Um, it has instant, has motion alerts. You can turn it on, you can turn those off. The nice thing about this is you don't have to have any cloud storage. You, it comes with an SD card. You put the SD card in it, it saves your videos, and you have, actually have a library by date which you can replay those. Now, when the card gets full, it'll, re, it'll, it'll reformat itself. So you don't have to go up there and keep changing the card. I like that feature. So when the card is full, it'll basically wipe out that card and start all over again. If you want to save those videos to your phone, you can. But I really like this thing. To find, I had to find, I'll link to it in the description below, by the way. I had to find a camera that basically worked on no power, so it's solar. Um, it ran on cellular data only. This is not Wi-Fi, this is cellular. It runs on a T-Mobile network. Again, the data only plan is about 10 bucks a month. I had trouble finding it on their website, so I just called them and they walked me through it and uh, it took about three or four days and I got the little micro SIM card and you put the little micro SIM card inside of it. And that's it, pretty simple. Are there any other features on this that I wanna talk about or that you may have questions about? I, it actually is not getting, the solar panel is not getting full sun, by the way. The sun goes like this and it's almost in the shade. And the battery life, the battery on it, when I look at it, if I look at the settings in here, so I go to my settings, I'm at a 98% charge. Now I don't use it a whole lot, but that's pretty good. It's just taking indirect sunlight and charging. So I have my motion sensor is off, camera recording is on, push notifications is on, it sends me alerts. You can have email alerts, you can have a siren, you can actually talk through it. So the features on this, I really like. Normally these, some of these cameras are really cheaply made and the software and programming isn't good, but I really, really like this camera. I just wanted to make a short video for you guys to show it to you. It's easy setup. Uh, within five minutes, it was up and running, no problem. I'll link to it in the description below. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run you out back. I got the camera with me. I'm gonna run out back. I need to check on the corn feeders we have out for the deer. Now, this 10 acres has the house and has the pond. And if you don't understand what's been going on here, you can see that sort of bright orange spot down there and then a black tube. Well, the old uh, pond drain failed and this pond was draining. So we had to dig that entire berm up and replace it with a 15 inch cross flow drain tube. Lots of pollen out here. So that's the three acre pond. It's coming up and it'll come way up. It'll come up another three feet. You can see the bottom of that tube. So, thank God we didn't have to kill any of our fish. <laughs> they all survive. Let me hop on the UTV and I'll take you over. I'll take you, I gotta go check on them. So come with me if you want. If you don't, go watch Netflix or something. Man, there's so much pollen out here today. Let me show you real quick what we did. This is the finished 
So we had to dig this whole point up, this whole corner up, and we put a metal pipe, but the metal pipe stopped about here, and there's no way a truck could come in here. So we grabbed the extra plastic pipe. See the big 15 inch over here? We filled all that in, we put uh, cement, gravel, backfill, and so we've opened this up another 10 feet. So the gravel trucks are coming tomorrow, so I'll have them gravel back in here. I opened up a little parking space here. We're gonna replace these stones right here with actually, I think we're gonna do like a cute split rail fence on either side here. And then I open up another turnaround spot here for the trucks. And I'll probably gravel that a little bit too. We just need easy access. Feeder station number one. Now our property just goes on forever back there. But you can see there's really thick cover back in here. There's a lot of deer in here. But I want to check because I saw a raccoon climbing on this thing. So let's test it. Still got good corn. Battery is oh, pretty charged. Eight, nine, ten, zero. You gotta turn around because this is gonna hurt. Man, those kernels fly like crazy. Right, I gotta put the camera down so I can turn around. I'll take you to the other one. Okay, so it's feeder number one.
this is uh, what we call a bald spot. And it's just this open bald spot in this thick, nasty woods. Now you can see I've sprayed this with my final sand and glyco combination. And this stuff has just been scorched. See the green behind it? And then this is what it looks like after it's been sprayed. I may not even have to cut this deer poo everywhere. But I want to check this one because this one had some paper in it last time. So let's give it a test. Let's look at the battery too. Let's see. Uh, battery looks good actually. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Never push that button and stand there because these things fly aerodynamic corn kernels okay got a good supply we got probably still got about 40 pounds in there got a little solar charger on it and then eventually I got to go back in here and cut pass into there so I'm gonna put the camera down and we're gonna go again so uh, maybe later today or tomorrow, I'm going to grab some of the real mowers and I'm going to do a quick back lap on it. And once this soil dries out, we're going to do uh, our first cutting of it. And then we're going to be putting down our base fertilizer or PGF complete. I've already done a couple treatments of the green shocker. So it's time for the, our base fertilizer to go out. So I'll put that on video for you. So hit subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Bye.